very fictionally with them. So that there's something about that is a kind of observation that I'm putting forward. You know. I think my, 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 I'm wondering is this is about the local and the non local and dislocation. And dislocation, and location. And location. Those, those things. Those things. And, and the sense to me, me in which throughout, throughout all, of this, all of this, you seem to dislocate yourself. Um, and I found that quite curious. And the, and the one moment the that stood out was the was connection of the eyes of the waitress. Because, because suddenly, suddenly it's like such as reputations of solstice. Suddenly there's suddenly a possibility, possibility of being seen, seen through the eyes of the other. other. And it doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. Suddenly you go into a fantasy world. What? I was curious, mm-hmm. about, quite curious yeah. about that because that seemed because, that seemed because there seemed to be a, a possibility, possibility of, of, of entering into, into that, that look, look and imagining, and imagining how, you how you were seen and that would localise you. Mm-hmm. In a minute, it's, minute kind it's kind of almost like you dislocated yourself, even through the blue of and I can um, you know, I'm that. wondering about that. We don't have to ask. Actually, I've got to have a comment. I, th- I think that I've been thinking about, about humility in relationship to sight as an artist in a, in a site full of people and, and how I feel there's a sense of humility that one has to, one can choose to find. And I'm going to ask that horribly obvious question, which is about... How do you feel about, feel about that, that in relationship, relationship to um, issues that we might talk about in relationship, relationship to ethics and, 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 and those issues? Those two people and, and sharing the you know, but, but also, yeah. Yeah. But, but for me, it's about so, so the so next, next step, step is about. Is about you sharing yeah, that in these kind of situations. I hear what you're saying about you need to record people and as soon as, absolutely, as soon as the camera is on people that they change. But then you're not just doing that in that search environment. And then you're then bringing it. There seems to be that there's something that complicates and simplifies the ethics of this event this event that we're here at and the event of this recording, which is to do with the way in which you're layering the recordings. So there's a sort of um, get out clause in the fact that the image we see doesn't represent the things we're talking about, doesn't represent the text, doesn't represent what we're talking about live. So we kind of deconstruct the ethics of all of those recordings. At the same time, that kind of makes it even more complicated ethically um, because of the way in which we come to encounter this event. So we've got all of these representations that are making uh, demands of our attention that we start to put things together so you start to think about whether or not the woman in the white top who looks a little bit like she could be a waitress is the person you thought about went to have a shit and maybe that's a bit wrong and so you're starting to make us encounter something that we don't have an ethical responsibility to. I don't have an answer for that, but I think that you, you need for me, if you're going to address ethics, which I think you have to address because your video is going to be representing without the knowledge, start to disentangle the way in which all of those representations are put together and composed artistically, which I think is both. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting bit of work, but I think it's problematic and quite simple. Well, we're going in the a lot of different perspectives in there. There's a kind of a different, different interaction and perspective if you think about the same Schneemann and his work in the 60s happenings. and happenings, where, where I think there was interaction, there was stage performance, performance, there was something different coming out. out. If you are not, not interacting, interacting with those persons person that they know of it, or there's some, a stage component to it, yet it's not only yeah. them being performative, it's also you being voyeuristic. And then you also bring in something, something like the, the mode of the stream in the consciousness, which then creates even a third thing between voyeurism, productivity, and your own stream of consciousness. So all of this kind of a complicated change of perspective. And then I was wondering about Derrida because that person kind of related to Derrida. And lately I was reading Firearm and Firearm said, 
Oh, Derrida is horrible. This man writing all of our text and coming up with one interesting narrative. And I found this so liberating, by the way, for you know And so, yeah, I was wondering when there's something in there, how you could play around with this kind of perspective in this kind of performative, voyeuristic, conscious, unconscious action that's going on. Um, of what you're aiming to do? What do you want them to get? I mean, not get, because that's but like for me, I experienced watching it. It was gradually, little drops of time, drops of time, more and more uncomfortable. Sitting here, listening to you, copy your piece of story, the narrative over the top, peaceful, that real world. I had to keep reminding myself that that's what you were doing. Layering, text over text, and you know, this image. And the uh, time I was trying to, I want to throw it over and slap it shut. And slap it shut. And you want the projector off because it really was that sort of. It was, it was like. Um, and then I realised that I was dealing with my notion of truth. And when I see a video, and inherently, it's what I do when we see video, particularly in more documentary situations, we're looking and we're dealing with the notion of truth behind this documented situation. Lottie, yeah. but why the laptop? Why not Steve? Yes, well, yeah. <laughs> I did want to do things to Steve, but I didn't want to talk about the fact that I wanted to do things to Steve. <laughs> See? When we come back to you. So I am just talking about the laptop. And uh, I mean, the question is, yeah. the laptop and object were fine. And then Christine, and Christine and an objection. And Caroline Steen's interior scroll, let's say, for instance, that's a very, very political, political act of performance. I'm wondering, I'm wondering when you talked about, about the way it's been happening. There was a political climate at that time. There was a political climate at that time. What do you what think do this you brings think this brings to the political climate at our time? Do you think within that there is that this is, this this is, is, is deeply, deeply politicised? Deeply politicised. Mm -hmm. Whether yeah. you, know, you, you are making a statement about consumption, about paninis, about women, women about the you know, contemporary uh, middle class consumerism. And I wonder whether or not you might start to um, unpack that a little bit in the, in the moment a bit more explicitly. I don't mean that I'm a rat, you know, of drinking coffee in cafes, but to start to tease out some of those connections for the political action specifically. I think mine's more of an observation, picking up on those points in ethics. One, Sophie Kelly's work with her, the letter from her lover. You know, if we're going to talk about ethics, well, you know, if if that art which is so accepted in the world can be okay ethically, why can this not be? Okay, I mean, maybe that's too simplistic, but in the art world, I think that is the case. And um, the the other, so what we're talking about is the academic world. Um, so uh, I saw it through here, and without my glasses, I'm short-sighted, and I found it very interesting. And what came to the fore for me was you. And so the choices that brought in and out, the different disruptions that occurred, the disruptions of your voice, the constancy of your wandering and wandering around these things. Um, and so I think that the people in the video are not really what's for my, from my experience, that's not what's foregrounded. Um, there's something about the presence of digital media being so everyday now in Deserto's uh, sense. You're, you're working with the, the practice of um, everyday life kind of thing. So uh, I'm accumulating this into an argument for ethics. Um, when we walk in the street, we're videoed constantly. Our picture can be put out on the television if a crime happens near us, and there's not an ethical problem with that. What are you doing with these videos? You're not actually, you're playing very fictionally with them. So th there's something about that. It's a kind of observation that you're putting forward. Yeah. I think my, my